again, had to balance the camera again on the gimbal. So we're gonna try to run across the street real quick. Well, not run. There's the casino. Yes, Germany has casinos. So we're at the uh, traffic light here. And there's the beautiful palace. It's a Sunday morning, so not much is going on. So we'll just wait. Folks are kind of staring at me, talking to myself. But it's all right. So here we go. Here's another look at the palace from this side. Big, beautiful place. And no, I have not been inside. This is a nice square right here. There's the Ansbach movie theater. I have been in there to watch a movie in German. This area here is normally filled with people waiting for buses. This is a central point where the buses meet up. And I hope everybody can hear me. It's a nice little spot. And right here is the palace. It's too big to get in one frame. It's a pretty place. Some artwork. There's the Gast House, normally called like a restaurant, could be a bar. The buildings are very nice. I might have to put my gloves on, because it is a mite chilly. It's snowing. Well, it was snowing. It snowed for two days. Today is the first day. It stopped on the third day. A late winter snow. It started on the first, April Fools, and kept going. So, this is a pretty little city here. We'll try to do a big circle come back. Uh, here's a place that a lot of my American viewers will know. Chile, see if we can zoom in. There we go. Chile's restaurant in Germany. I have been there. I think uh, Thursday, just had some chicken wings and fries, but it was very good. I seen on some reviews, folks said the food wasn't good, but I tried myself. I liked it. 
good presentation. The sauce they had to dip the wings in. Very good. That made the meal there. And the price was good. And it's a beautiful place inside. So it had a lot of plus, plus, plus with me. So we made it down into the center of town. Another little fun fact. This building here with the green shutters on it, this used to be Ansbach first McDonald's back in the day. So we're going to cross the street once again. See if I can get a shot of the tower. This is called the Herida Tour. This big tower here with the fountain. So if you were ever in Ansbach and you walk maybe from that way to the city from Barton or Blydon Kasern back in the day, you've seen this heading to Hindenburg Kasern. So giving my age away. So we're gonna go into the pedestrian zone, but check out the snow on this mountain. They decorated it to look like a big Easter egg, I think. Very nice. So now we're walking into the Arita Tour. tower. So Unspock has changed a lot for me, for me from the last time I was here. A lot of different shops. So this is where you can come to shop. It's all kinds of shops in this area here. It's a walking zone, a pedestrian zone, or as Germans call it, the Fußgänger zone. There's a restaurant. I ate there before, the last time I was stationed here. Not sure if the name is the same. But this is what inside the city looks like. Normal business day, this place is full. And it's a bit of walking through memory lane. Like this place here. We always sold ice cream. Not sure if the name still remains the same. That's a look back at the Harita Tour, or Harita Tower as it's called. So if we fan over here, this little Thai China snack used to be owned by a different guy. It had a big spoon outside, so we Americans, we couldn't say the original name, which was the Croc Luffa, which translated to be cooking spoon. We called it the greasy spoon. But they sold grilled chickens, french fries there forever. It was very good. This Kerfu restaurant, I remember that one. I guess I should say, I was stationed here back in 2010. <laughs> left in 2012 so a lot of things are different I like this how the Germans set up places to sit outside even back there in that restaurant but the tables are full of 
snow. It's great to sit outside, have a drink, have coffee, tea, whatever your choice of beverage is. So it's a quiet Sunday morning. And I like how everybody just goes for walks. Something you don't see that much in the States. People just walking, window shopping, like the old days. Really, if this was the old days here, a few of these bars, here's another good restaurant to go to. So everybody can see it. And they have sugar for the 12 euro 50. That's a very good meal. Big hunk of beef that they roast excellent gravy to it. See you guys cleaning off the snow from the tables. Probably we could even have a shot. So we made it to one of the centers here where the big old church is at. And a lot of times they hold um, festivals here in this park. So you can say, back in the day, this road you see here used to go all the way through here and around the corner. And that'll be the next place we're heading next, just to let you see. But they closed it all off and it's just a pedestrian zone. So we're gonna do a little walk here and turn back behind me where the guy was cleaning the snow off the tables. And of course, you see all these buildings. On the bottom is normally shops, and up top is apartments where folks actually live. So as we fan back, this place here, and you see the nice big building in church, but where the guys clean off the table, that's like a cultural information center where you can go get information from about things in the city, what's happening. But on a beautiful summer day, there are tables and chairs set up all out here. And folks just having a marvelous time. So we're gonna take a little short break because I'm thirsty and I'll be right back. So break time is over. We'll just continue on our journey here. I was just listening to the previous video and I noticed I hear a lot of and that's from my jacket, this here, swinging my arm, so try to keep it still to keep the noise out. And this is big church. Up, 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 up. So heading this way would really be the way to go across a bridge down here to what's called the Brooklyn Center, the Ansbach Mall. And they have a bridge that goes over the main road. They didn't have that at first. And there were so many people crossing the street it held up the traffic, so they built the bridge. So we'll get a quick shot of that. Then we'll backtrack to 
to complete our circle of the city. And yes, lots of people ride bikes. You don't see too many mopeds. But anyway, there's the bridge over there that goes across the main road that you can walk across. And behind all those snowy trees back there is the mall. And of course, more tables and chairs, places to sit out on. But the snow is keeping all that down. And also there's a playground over there too. You got kids and people just come out here, sit, have a drink, have some ice cream, whatnot, and have fun. So we are going to go back and backtrack. I'm gonna pause this and pick up later. For today, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me here. It's been a nice little walk. Only took about a half hour to go through, trying to get the lighting right here. Let me walk out of there. There we go, it's a little better. So, the palace behind me so thanks once again for joining me please comment let me know what you think even if you don't think it was worth seeing i like to hear that too and anything else you may want to see so this is cullen signing off from beautiful on germany bye now